Today I'm going to be teaching you about the needle chest decompression to help alleviate a tension pneumothorax in a casualty. Suspect a tension pneumothorax and treat when a casualty has significant torso trauma or primary blast injury and one or more of the following. Severe or progressive respiratory distress. Severe or progressive tachypnea. Absent or markedly decreased breast sounds on one side of the chest shock or traumatic cardiac arrest without obviously fatal wounds. The needle chest decompression is performed using a 14 or 10 gauge three and a quarter inch needle catheter. There are two acceptable sites for the needle chest decompression. The fifth intercostal space on the anterior axillary line or the second intercostal space at the midclavicular line. The nipple level is variable in females, but you can lift the breast and use the level of the inframammary fold. I'm going to demonstrate on the second intercostal space, midclavicular line. I want to locate my patient's clavicle, which is also right above the first rib. Underneath that is the first intercostal space. Moving down, I find the patient's second rib. Underneath that is the second intercostal space. I'm going to insert my needle catheter here, directly above the third rib, so that I don't hit any arteries or veins along the bottom of that second rib. If the anterior MCL site is used, it is critical to remain lateral of the nipple line to avoid the heart and large blood vessels. Once I've identified my site, I'm gonna remove the needle catheter. Remember it's 14 or 10 gauge, three and a quarter inch. I have my site identified, and I'm just gonna insert this at a 90 degree angle, perpendicular to the patient's chest. Insert the needle and catheter fully to the catheter hub and leave in place for five to 10 seconds to allow complete decompression to occur. After the decompression has been performed, remove the needle, leaving the catheter in place. The lateral site is located in the fifth intercostal space, anterior axillary line. To locate it, you're gonna follow the patient's anterior axillary line to just lateral and below the nipple. The nipple level is variable in females, but you can lift the breast and use the level of the inframammary fold. Once you've identified the site, take your 10 or 14 gauge, three and a quarter inch needle catheter and begin your insertion. Following the anterior axillary line, I'm gonna insert my needle just over the top of the lower rib at the insertion site. Insert the needle catheter unit all the way to the hub and hold it in place for five to 10 seconds to allow decompression to occur. After the NDC has been performed, then remove the needle, leaving the catheter in place. The NDC should be considered successful if respiratory distress improves or there is an obvious hissing sound as air escapes from the chest when NDC is performed. This may be difficult to appreciate in high noise environments or a casualty with no vital signs has returned to consciousness and or radial pulse. If the initial NDC fails to improve the casualty's signs or symptoms from the suspected tension pneumothorax, perform a second NDC on the same side of the chest at whichever of the two recommended sites was not previously used. Use a new needle catheter unit for the second attempt. Consider, based on the mechanism of injury and physical findings, whether decompression of the opposite side of the chest may be needed. If the initial NDC was successful but symptoms later recur, perform another NDC at the same site that was used previously. Use a new needle catheter unit for the repeat NDC. If the second NDC is also not successful, continue on to the circulation section of the Tactical Combat Casualty Care TCCC guidelines. Continue to reassess for redevelopment of attention pneumothorax and document all care on the DD Form 1380.